Welcome all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska and the question for today to you is, do you know who is a concert organist and what's the difference between the church organist? We will answer this because with us in the studio is Anna Przybysz, a musician and a concert organist. Again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. And, uh, well, you have a very unique discipline. You are, of course, a musician, but uh, playing on organs is altogether uh, something rare. Uh, but you are also a woman doing it. Yes. So <laughs> additionally <laughs> difficult. So first of all, tell us a little bit, what's, uh, well, who is the concert organist and how did you choose this vocation? So usually at the universities, you've got two possibilities to study organ. So one is instrumental department and the second one is church music department. So after instrumental department, you can play organ as a concert organist. So you are able to play concerts. During church music studies, you are learning how to conduct in choirs, how to sing chants, for example, uh, how to improvise, uh, make an improvisation during the services at the churches. So it's quite different way of playing organ, not only uh, organ pieces, but uh, organ as a church musician. So it's a completely different way. It's, I think it's harder <laughs> to study church music department. So you then already a church like person studying this is, well, the faith is determined they are going to play in churches. Yes, yes, for sure, yes. And we also can play in the churches, so we've got these subjects uh, during our studies, how to play services, how to sing, how to improvise, but most of all, we have to play organ literature. So it's our... Organ <laughs> literature, exactly. Yeah. So, but uh, what, how did you choose for this, for this uh, goal? Because I would say it's, well, it's rare. Definitely people go either for a violin or piano <laughs> and then organs. Well, definitely it's not like your, your parents had the instrument at home. <laughs> no, of course not. So uh, I was a pianist uh, for 10 years. And after 10 years, uh, I've played one during the service at the church in my little small village near to Warsaw. Uh, so an organist asked me because he wanted to, to go for a short holiday. And he said, Anna, you are playing piano. So so you will be able to play an organ as well. And uh, he learned me everything, how to, to play all things and sing also. And I started to play in the church uh, when I was 13. And it was amazing for me. So this huge sound, this feeling that I'm playing and 500 or 1000 people are singing together with me. So I felt so powerful and I wanted to change the piano for an organ. So it was a time for me for, for a change and I changed music school and instrument too. So you started with the piano yeah. and then you just... And uh, flute also. And the flute, yes. okay. And <laughs> then this kind decide. of... <laughs> <laughs> but then you see there's a different uh, power in the organs. Yes. And already you, you were useful as well, being 13, playing for so many people in the church. Yeah. That's definitely a change. Yes, and it was uh, amazing adventure for me because when we are playing piano, you can play, uh, of course, Baroque pieces, Romantic pieces and modern pieces, but the count of organ pieces, so since 14th century till 21st century, so we've got a lot of organ pieces, so we can play um, different instruments. So piano is quite the same. Of course, the sound will be a bit, um, bit strange, maybe. So Yamaha and Steinway, so it's not the same, of course, but every organ are unique. So you don't have two same instruments in the world. So this oh, is one. Very interesting. Yes. And also, you mentioned that organs are older than piano. Yeah. It's the oldest one instrument in the world. Wow. Uh, and the biggest one. <laughs> and the most remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, so tell us a little bit about all, all the, like the organs himself, the instrument. How many keys do you have? Uh, what, the, what are the pipes? What's going on there? Okay. So it's really difficult to say um, about organ in very short time because in this history is very long and it depends on the time when the organ was built. So uh, in Baroque time, uh, we had a mechanical action, sound and keyboard action, and it does mean that when you press the key, it's very hard to play organ. Uh, in Romantic time, we had pneumatic and electropneumatic action, so it was lighter to play, but um, the time, the acoustic, 
take what beast longer because you press the key and you have to wait a few seconds and then you can hear the sound from the church or uh, or concert hall so it's a bit harder to play on pneumatic organ and nowadays we've got electronic uh, action so you press and you hear at the same time and it's very light <laughs> but uh, about uh, how many key we've got so it depends on how uh, much money do you have because it's really um, it costs really much money like millions so uh, if you've got enough money, you can build the biggest one organ is in Atlanta and they've got seven keyboards for hands and one uh, for, for legs because this is the most difficult thing on playing organ. We use our both legs to playing organ. Oh wow, so you basically have to, it's like a sport doing yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Extreme sport, <laughs> I could say. Yes, so you've got... Um, an, if larger organ are you've got you can create more sound so organ uh, are like an orchestra so we've got for example violin sound flute sound trumpet trombone sound and this uh, typical organ piano sound too so you can play with two hands and two legs like whole orchestra and this is amazing <laughs> wow i was i didn't notice yeah so that's that's so, so really fabulous but also challenging yeah and we'll talk more about all of those challenges in the next episode and to all of you the viewers of perlon daily well if you will have a chance then squeeze into a place and see uh, how the organs look like and uh, if you want to learn more secrets about organ playing, then stay with us for another episode. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.